Fatigue failure is when repeated loading causes tiny cracks to form and grow over time until the part fractures, without the material strength ever necessarily being exceeded. But how can we estimate when this will happen? I'm an aerospace engineer and the starting point is called the SN curve. On the Y axis is the applied stress and on the X axis is the number of cycles. Now let's say a part experiences a cyclic stress of 200 megapascals. You find that point on the vertical axis, follow it horizontally to the curve, then drop vertically to find the number of cycles to failure. If that number is 10,000 and the part experiences one stress cycle per day, it's expected to fail roughly after 10,000 days under ideal lab conditions. But if the stress range is low enough, below a threshold known as the endurance limit, the SN curve flattens out. That means the part can theoretically survive an infinite number of cycles without failing from fatigue. But the endurance limit isn't fixed and it isn't truly infinite. Surface finish, temperature, or environment are a few factors that can reduce it. And for materials like aluminum alloys, which are common in aircraft structures, a true endurance endurance limit doesn't exist. The SN curve keeps sloping downward, meaning fatigue failure can still occur no matter how low the stress given enough time.